Hey guys, Ariel over here at Finest. Today I wanted to do a quick video addressing a question I get asked semi-regularly. How does one get mail when you are in a tiny house? So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Ariel. I live here in my house named Fine Ith, where I am off grid as in no physical connection to any public utilities. And I live tucked in a little clearing in the mountains. Now lots of people live in tiny houses in places not quite as rural as or remote as where I am. But if you have a dwelling that can be moved, um, then this is a question that comes up because normally you get an address on one, two, three, Joe Blow Street because that is where your house always is until you sell it and you get a new address when you go somewhere else. So how does this work? Well, first let me tell you how it works for me and then some other options that may work uh, for you or in other situations. For me, what I do is I have a post office box. Now this in the second closest local town, um, and it's the same one that I've had for quite a few years. One thing that works really well for me is I don't even stand out as being funny or different because in the area where I live, it's one of the few remaining areas in this country where there is no rural uh, delivery. None. So if you have a $17 million mansion here, or if you have a tiny house, or if you live in a rented apartment or whatever, every single person drives to the post office to get their mail at a P.O. box. There is no mail delivery to anybody's houses of any kind on wheels or otherwise. So I've actually had the same post office box for many, many years now, including the last while that I was renting a, an apartment before moving in here. So that's pretty simple here because like I said I don't even stand out as being funny or different for having a P.O. box because every single person has a P.O. box. It's funny and different and very confusing to some people trying to mail you things because the rest of the country expects that there are mailmen who come to the end of people's lanes and put things in mailboxes and that's just not the case here. So that's what I do and it works just fine for me. I pick up my mail usually like once a week in town and if I have a bigger package that needs mail to a physical address because yes UPS and FedEx won't deliver to PO addresses, PO box addresses and then this creates a problem when UPS has a deal with the post office where they'll take off the post office box number or the shipper will because they're sending it UPS. UPS gets to local areas and at least here they transfer a lot of stuff to the post office. The post office says oh there's no PO box and they send it back. So sometimes getting packages is a real pain here. But um, that, that has always been that way and it's true for me and everyone else who lives in the area. Again, no matter how mobile or not our housing is or how often anybody's moved and so on. But if I do have a big package that I know is coming to a physical address, I am able to use the address of a, a neighboring friend here if I need it dropped off at a door. So that's what I do. Uh, that may work well for you, especially if you're going to be in one area for a little while. If you're going to move all the time, and I do have friends in tiny houses who do this, or there's been people living in RVs and traveling for, you know, months or years and so on. So there's a few other options. You can rent a um, UPS box. Most, or at least a lot of UPS stores will have a mailbox you can rent and usually in a six month or annual basis, something like that. And it gives you a physical and a mailing address and kind of like I do with the post office box, you would go there and pick up your mail or your packages or whatever when you want to get them. I think they even have setups where they can like text you or email you when there is something there so you don't have to run there just to check for nothing and so on. So renting a UPS box may be an option if you don't want to go the PO box route or if that's not practical where you live or what a lot of people do, um, older people traveling full time, retirees may do this with um, you know one of their kids addresses or a friend or young people traveling may do it with a parent's address or something. Maybe you can find somebody who is staying in a physical location for a while and just have anything important you need sent there and again collect it uh, randomly. So th there is some options out there but as far as mailing and what do I do, that is what I do and moving into a tiny house didn't even change that because like I said all 10,000 residents of the county all drive to the post office, most of them every single day to pick up their mail because of course that's far more efficient than having somebody drive the mail around. I'm not entirely sure on the reasoning why the that's still thought to be the most practical it actually doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me but I usually only get my mail about once a week and that's what I do. Hopefully that gives you some ideas if you were wondering about that. You all have a lovely day. 
Hi folks, Ariel over here. Thanks for spending some of your valuable time watching these videos. Hopefully you found something beautiful, educational, interesting, peaceful, relaxing, or useful while you are here. If so, find more videos here, subscribe so you don't miss any updates, and if you like what you found here, feel free to like and share away so that others can benefit as well. You all have a wonderful day.